Hey everyone, this is the update people have been asking for. First, a quick recap on what we did. In preparation for the massive project, we thought it best to get rid of all the old wiring on this 2005 lumber. So we ripped out all the old wires and replaced all the electronics with new shiny everything, including this awesome and custom-made control panel. Nathan then installed the motors and motor controllers. For these electric-hungry blue beasts, we needed more solar. We created this massive solar array that we lovingly refer to as our sailboat spoiler. In order to store all this power, we created a colossal battery bank, a 32 kilowatt, 48 volt, 800 amp hour butte. To connect it all together, we hired the professionals to come out and make it pretty and safe through a series of bus bars, fuses, and massive electrical cables. Then we connected it all together and made the motors push water running a stress test to ensure nothing in the system would break. We felt confident we were ready to go. So, since this day in March of 2022, how's it been going? The short answer is it's been going great. Here are the details on what we've experienced since being in the water. Our first day in the water was a nice day to test the basic functions of the motors. It was a light day with only seven to nine knots of wind on our nose and zero current. We kept the sails down and were able to motor for around an hour, producing four and a half knots of speed and only decreased in battery percentage by 10%. At that rate, we could have motored for eight hours. Our next test was under more significant circumstances. With 15 to 20 knots of wind and a three knot current, we motored for five hours and it took the battery all the way down to 20%. Then we dropped anchor and waited to see how long it would take us to recharge. We'll review this in a moment. The next test we conducted was to see how long we could run the house system on the battery bank with no solar input. The result was seven days. We were able to run the water maker, Vitamix, and Instapot. At that time, that's all we had on board. We'll have to rerun this test again now that we have an induction stove. Yes, we switched to induction. Ugachuka is now fully electric. Recharging will take anywhere from five to seven days. The first test we ran, it only took five days to recharge the battery bank to 100% from the 20% that we ran it down to. The second time we did this, it was cloudier with more afternoon storms and it took seven days. We love the boat and she's been performing wonderfully. Since leaving Port Canaveral in March, We've sailed to West Palm, Dry Tortugas, Isla Mujeres, Luperon in the Dominican Republic, a couple of spots in Puerto Rico, and Aruba. We realize the testing is never truly done, and we know that the sustainability of this project won't be known until we have completed a large crossing, either the Atlantic or the Pacific. But as for now, in the Caribbean, the boat has been exactly what we were hoping she would be.